So uh, you guys are Latinos, right? I'm Italian. Uh, I'm gonna say it right now. Uh, I think Rocky's the best movie in the world. Yeah. Yep, I do. But I hate Adrian because she never supports her man. Every single time Rocky's trying to win a fight, what's the first thing she says? You can't win. I always want to be like, you know, Adrian, if you don't like it, you need to go back to the pet store. <laughs> go sling bird seed. Go play dysfunctional house with your brother, Paulie. Get out of here. My parents did a lot of like weird Italian things. Like everyone I've ever met in my whole life has been my aunt or uncle. And it's so weird. Even when I come home to this day, my mom's always like, Brenda, come meet your uncle Joey. And he's like this. <laughs> I'm like, uh, if he's my Uncle Joey, how come he's looking at me like he's starving and I'm chicken? <laughs> it's so weird. And I didn't even realize this was weird until I brought my husband home and I was like, hey, Ben, this is my Aunt Betty. And he looks at her and goes, wow, you look nothing alike. How are you related? I was like, actually, she's just some black lady. I don't know who she is. <laughs> And now I have one of these late in life uncles who got married really late in his 40s, and he wants me to call his new wife Ann. And I'm like, you know what, no. No more ants, the spots for ants have been filled. You want me to call you Ann? Where's my $20 communion check? That's right, you've missed three graduations, 30 birthdays, 30 Christmases, that's 63 gifts. So until I cash those checks, your name is Roseanne. And that is the Italian segment of Brenda Colonna's set. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have anger issues, that pisses me off. I get angry at celebrities. Like they think that they're so cool and they're not. Like, yeah, they're in movies and, and, and they could do that and we can't and okay, whatever. But there are so many things that we could do that they can't do. Like Lindsay Lohan, can't stay out of jail. I can't. <laughs> Cast of Jersey Shore, can't stop tanning, I can. Angelina Jolie, can't stop looking hot, I can. Same thing with rock stars, they think that they're so great, I've seen a million of them backstage, they are the same music geeks they were in high school, except now they lost their virginity, okay? That's all they are. If you knew them in high school, you would not want to talk to them, okay? If somebody came up to me and was like, hey Brenda, you want to meet Axl Rose? I'd be like, Axl Rose? The guy in ass chaps, always in the hallway practicing this thing? <laughs> no, I don't want to meet him. I love Kurt Cobain, but if I was at a party and I saw him in the corner going, rape me, I'd be like, uh, buzzkill. <laughs> and I know Lady Gaga was the chick in the back of the classroom who he paced, okay? She's a weirdo. She just is. Did you see her at that VH1 Music Awards wearing a meat dress? She was wearing a dress full of meat, like real meat, like full on cold, like cold cut, right on her head, like this, just flapping. I was like, you know what? I hope there's a lion outside. <laughs> or a relapsing vegetarian, something. I want you to go down, Lady Gaga. Down. Having boobs is a little bit like having a celebrity, being famous. Because the more you have, the more free stuff you could get. It's just a fact. And I'm pretty big, I've had them all, so I like to think of myself as an authority. I'll break it down for you, right? If you have an A cup, you pretty much can't get anything, okay? Go read a book, be smart, do something. That's what you have. It's just a fact. B cup, bum a few smokes from the same guy all night. Borrow sugar without giving it back, those types of things. C cup, manual labor. Get anyone with a truck to help you move. <laughs> Installations of sound systems, if you'd like. Person with the A cup tries that, the move would be like, yeah, uh, pots are in the box, good luck, sir. That's right, I said it, sir, flat chest. Now I'm a double D, so that means I can pretty much go anywhere, do anything, in all honesty, I should be a spy, okay? Is that it? <laughs> If I wanted to right now, I could probably walk into the Russian embassy and just be like, uh, excuse me, I'm uh, here for the secret documents. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm not saying I abuse that, but I will say I know who shot Kennedy. <laughs> yep. And all girls.
girls know this, by the way. I'm not the only one that knows this. That's why when two girls with big boobs walk into a room, we give each other the nod. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey. You guys know it's the same nod black people give. Hey, what's up? Hey. What? What do you mean, oh, it's, it's just the truth. It's, we're not saying I got, it is. We're not saying I got your back, you got mine. We're saying I'm working this side of the room, you keep your butt over there. <laughs> And don't feel, they don't, oh, okay. It's hard to have them too. Like every single time I hug a guy, there's something in the back of my mind that goes, is he liking this a little bit too much? <laughs> and then you have two seconds to decide how you're gonna hug somebody because he's coming straight for you and you're like, oh, okay, he looks okay. I'm gonna give him a front hug. This guy can have a front hug. This guy here, he's already smiling. He looks like he hasn't had any in a long time. He gets a side hug. This guy's gonna get a side hug. <laughs> this. So if you've ever gotten a side hug, you know you're the creepy one in the room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, so I was talking to my friend, I was complaining about being poor, and she said, you should sell your house, invest in mutual funds, do all this stuff. And I was like, you know what? Aren't you a stripper? <laughs> like, you know what, call me crazy, but I'm not gonna take money advice from someone who keeps hers in her thong, okay? <laughs> like, I, just know your place. Nothing against strippers, just know your place. I'm not gonna go up to, uh, a priest and ask him how to have a good time. I'm not gonna ask a fat guy how to do Atkins. It's just know your place. Be the best stripper you're gonna be, but when you're finished, don't go sit at the bar and give legal advice. It's like me going into the bank and asking how to give a good lap dance. Like, hi, uh, can I cash this check? And is this thing right? Do it this way? No? Yeah. Yeah. Who do I talk to about the daddy issues? Customer service? It's just, it's weird, you know? Nothing against strippers. I'm sure it's, you know, it's a very hard job. You have to be sexy every single day of the week. I am with the same man for seven years, and my best move is, come here, let me touch your grapes. Let me touch them. That's all I have, so I'm sure it's very hard. It's hard. Any food industry is hard. I worked in a restaurant. Well, you don't think that's food?